power. So this is the best practices for using microphone phantom power or direct box phantom power or whatever. <laughs> First of all, you want to have your gain knob set all the way counterclockwise. Before you plug your microphone in, you also want to have the switch off. And if you already had it on, wait 30 seconds. So with the gain all the way down, you can hit your 48 volt button or switch. And you see how the signal went up to like, what's that, negative 12? If I would have had the gain higher, then it would have possibly clipped the converter. I don't know if that actually matters or not. But anyway, after about 10 seconds, you should be able to set your gain to the proper levels. And if you don't know what the proper recording levels are, I have a tutorial video for that. And after you do your recording, you then set your gain all the way counterclockwise clock once again. And you hit your 48 volt phantom power and watch when I hit it, the signal should go up again. It, it, it did a little bit. And then you, what you want to do is wait about 30 seconds and then you can unplug your microphone. I'm not going to do it right now because I only have one hand. But anyway, um, after you, again, wait 30 seconds, you can unplug it safely. And yeah, if you uh, have an assistant who unplugs your expensive condenser microphone, while phantom power is on, then uh, you have a right to hit them with a sledgehammer. Okay, that's a joke. Don't do that. But yeah, I've had that happen so many times that it's like people don't realize some of these mics are like $500 or more. And you're just like, really people? Like, I just did a cheap recording session and you're going to cost me $500 or at least $150 in repairs. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um... I hope this video helps and hit the like button. If it did, if, if you didn't like it for some reason, hit the thumbs down. But I don't know why you wouldn't like it because these are all good tips.